Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, how are you, Wendy? I'm fine. And you? Really fine as well. <laughs> what? I'm fine as well. So we are ready to start. So basically today is the video conference 19. One more video conference and we finish module number one. That's good, that's cool. So basically we have uh, one more. Fast, fast, fast. <laughs> yeah, time flies. The time goes really, really fast. And that's really cool. Really fast. Yes, because in that way we are like learning, we're practicing, and we're uh, knowing more things. That's that's really nice. Yeah, I mean, this is like the end of week four. Yeah, I mean, time flies. Time really, really, really flies. But anyway, this is this is life. And let's see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Years very, very fly. Exactly. Very fast. <laughs> exactly. So good more evening. more old. <laughs> <laughs> older. Older. That's the word. Older. Oh sorry. Yeah. Older. Older. Like this. Yes. Okay, so good evening, everyone. I give you like the welcoming to the officially section 19. As I told you, right. one, one more section and we are finishing module number one. So we're just going to stay uh, uh, in waiting for module number two that probably it's going to start after vacation. Okay, I don't know if you have the dates, but probably they are going to mention the dates. But it's going to be <laughs> the exam. Going what? To... Uh, 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 pertaining uh, to to the exam. Listen up. With the exam, I want you to do it tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tomorrow. Yeah, the exam. The final exam. Really? Yes. If you can start doing it, you can do it. But the exam is going to be tomorrow. Yeah, because it's going to be the last day. So, si lo pueden hacer antes de la sesión o después, it's up to you. Es ahí decisión de ustedes. Pero sí, me gustaría que mañana lo hiciéramos lo del examen. Porque ya sí para el sábado eh, ya esas notas de ustedes ya, ya van a estar en el sistema. Ok. They're going to be in the system al igual que la asistencia. Por eso es bastante importante que, que cumplamos con el requisito de lo de la asistencia. Recordemos que con lo de la asistencia eh, requerida para avanzar al módulo número 2 es por lo menos el 80% de la asistencia. Ok. A la gran... Bueno... Casi, casi, casi la mayoría de ustedes ya ronda el 80, 85%. Algunos todavía andan como por el 70%. Pero son los que hemos tenido problemas con el internet o a veces no nos hemos conectado. Pero igual, espero que en esta sección uh, logren conectarse y, y también mañana. That's why it's really important. Ok. Uh, but yeah, uh, con las tareas, as I told you, homework and uh, the exam. It's going to be for tomorrow. A más tardar mañana. Ok. Entonces, para que así no, no, no estemos apurados. Teacher, Ajá. usted me puede enviar, por favor, al, a mi WhatsApp el, el link de las, de la tarea, de las, ¿cómo se llama? De, para hacer las tareas, o sea, la, la plataforma. Que yo, ¿se acuerda que le dije que, le, que había, había reseteado mi teléfono y perdí todo eso? Ah, usted me está, ah, ok, entonces sí, le voy a enviar el link de la página entonces para que entre ahí ya con sus, con sus credenciales. Por favor, okay, eh, sí, pero, pero al, al mío, porque el otro, o sea, después como hay tanta conversación, se pierden también. 
Mm, ok, Por entonces, favor. Va, entonces vamos a hacer algo, Claudia. Me manda un Dígame. mensaje, me manda un mensaje para luego sí. yo enviarle, enviarle el link para Perfecto. que ya, para que ya, ya solo, ajá, para que ahí ya quede este, ya solo para que usted pueda ingresar con sus credenciales a la plataforma. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Very good. So we're gonna start. So good evening everyone. It's two, let me see, eight oh six. We are going to start with uh, the attendance list. Just give me a second. I'm just going to move some things I got in here and we can start with the attendance list. We have a uh, practice today. We have a lot of practice today. Since today we are going to review most of the topics that we were discussing during the week. Okay, because tomorrow we are going to, to finish the last topic that is going to be adjectives. Tomorrow we are going to be talking about adjectives. Mañana vamos a estar hablando sobre los adjetivos. Cómo formular las oraciones utilizando adjetivos. Eh, esa va a ser la primera hora. A hablar sobre los adjectives. And we're going to do short practice. Vamos a hacer una práctica un tanto corta. And uh, what else? Y a las nueve. Sí, probablemente a las nueve. Ya comencemos. Con, lo de la, con la, de la explicación de lo de la, la encuesta de satisfacción que lo vamos a hacer acá. Entonces, mañana sí ya le vamos, a dar, le vamos a dar respuesta a ellos, pero que la gran mayoría, bueno, todos esperaría que se conectaran mañana para poder, eh, para poder culminar con, con, esa, con esa encuesta. Este, y así no tener mayores dificultades. Este, básicamente la mayor parte va a ser copia y pega la que ustedes van a estar haciendo porque la mayoría de información ya se la han enviado directamente eh, con el link que le mandaron. Ahí están todos los datos que ustedes van a colocar y simplemente le van a dar copiar y pegar, copiar y pegar a todos esos, a todos esos puntos que, que están en, la, en lo de la encuesta, pero eso lo vamos a ver mañana. Ok. Entonces vamos a comenzar con lo de la asistencia y me da un momento Claudia con la permítame. Oh, ya se lo voy a mandar. I'm attending right now. Online Okay. Te digo Claudia, ahí está, ese es el link. Thank you teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let's start. Uh, Catherine Dinora, can you hear? Okay, no here. Catherine Daniela? All right, not here yet. Oscar Mauricio? Hmm. Okay, not here yet. Brenda Elizabeth? Present. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Carolina. Yeah, Brenda. Yeah. Wendy Maribel. Present, chair. Thank you. Brian Javier. Present. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Ana Karina. Mm, Ada Karina, it's not here yet. Okay. Elias Daniel. Okay, no here. Sandra Beatriz. No here. Claudia Verónica. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Mauricio. Mauricio Antonio. Okay. No, here you go. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Rosa Minta. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos David. Present teacher. Thank you, 
Carlos, Jorge Eduardo. Present. Thank you, Jorge. Esther Abigail. Okay, Esther is not here. And uh, Claudia Margarita. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Okay, we're gonna start with the information that we got for today. Give me a second, I'm going to share the screen. Give me a second. March the 25th. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the presentation. Can you see my screen? Okay, good. Okay, so this is going to be video conference number 19, as I told you, and today is going to be based in vocabulary practice. What are we gonna do today? Today we are going to practice the vocabulary and topics that we were discussing during the week. Sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and yesterday, Thursday. This is going to be focused today. And tomorrow we are going to end up with adjectives. That's going to be the last topic that we are going to be discussing. Okay, so let's move on because we have a lot of information to do today. Okay, the class agenda for today. Uh, as you know, we're going to have the review from the previous class. We're going to see what were we discussing yesterday. Okay, getting direction practice. This is going to be the practice that we left yesterday. Esta es la práctica que vamos a hacer ahora que comenzamos ayer, if you remember, about the places. The vocabulary practice, okay. We're going to, to review the vocabulary that we were discussing, including prepositions of place, the uses of there is and there are. We're going to do some exercises. We're going to be working on the manual if we have time and so on. And uh, as I told you, the exercises, we're going to, to work with exercises, okay? That's pretty much what we are going to be doing uh right now okay good now let's let's start with the first thing that we got for today okay the getting direction practice but before getting to the direction practice i want i want we to make a short review from yesterday's practice and i want a volunteer to tell me what was in last class and for that, I am going to ask Mauricio Ernesto to tell me, what do you remember from yesterday's class, Mauricio? Mauricio. Ah, you were with the microphone on. <laughs> what uh, was uh, the main discussion from yesterday? Preposition of place. Prepositions of place. Long in front, vein, next, across, uh -huh. turn, turn left, go straight. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Mauricio Ernesto. Okay, uh, what else were we talking about yesterday, Claudia Margarita? What do you remember? Um, uh, uh, the same preposition of place um, mm -hmm. to provide address mm -hmm. or directions. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, very good. And just to ask for a direction, what was the question that we were practicing yesterday, Brian? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuál era la pregunta que estábamos practicando ayer con la con la última tarea que estábamos haciendo con lo de la práctica? ¿Cuál era la pregunta para preguntar sobre 
a, al domicilio o la dirección del lugar. Eran varias Ajá. las que teníamos que dar Ajá. con los ejercicios que estábamos haciendo. La pregunta la tenemos que hacer con el where is. Mencioneme una, una, una pregunta de ejemplo. Eh. Um, where is the supermarket? Ok, where is the supermarket? Ok, very good. That was basically the question. By the way, are we, are like, are we just 10 people right now? No sé qué pasa con los demás. Faltan 10 personas, básicamente. 10 people. But let, let's see how we can do that. Hi. The class is empty. Mm, yeah, kind of. And I don't know why. I mean, eh, justo cuando dijimos, please, 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 únanse, únanse, que son las últimas clases. Es cuando más. Cuando, cuando menos se conectan. Okay. Hola, no, sí. Salvadorian. Yes, okay. Okay. Lo contrario. Maybe, maybe traffic. Yes. yes. Perdón, yo falté ayer porque mira que ayer sí de verdad me sentía súper mal. Fue el día de, de, de este proceso, pero ya ahorita no estoy bien, estoy con una gran fiebre, pero no quiero faltar, aquí estoy. Así que ah, por eso falté ayer. Ah, okay. por, eso, okay. ay, perdón. por eso falté ayer, pero aquí estoy. Ah, ok, no te preocupes Ok, no te Sí, sí, me lo imaginé que, que sí, pues enfermedades un tanto de cuidado entonces sí sí este ajá eh, igual este para los que estamos así igual este lo único que tal vez les pudiera pedir es que por lo menos uh, si vamos en el en el micro o cualquier otra cosa igual tratemos por lo menos de conectarnos aunque no estemos participando mucho por el hecho de lo de la asistencia lo que les mencionaba que eh, por lo menos tenemos que tener el 80% de lo de, de, la, de la asistencia uh, on Zoom. So that's why I was like very emphatic on that. Pero, pero igual creo que con la mayoría we are okay with that. Okay? Al menos con la gran mayoría we are like, like okay with that, with that uh, thing. Okay, now let's move on with the information that we got for today. Listen up. Mm, since pues como veo ahorita que apenas habemos 10 okay, y habemos muchos con los cuales estuvimos practicando ayer que no están. Entonces, uh, we are going to omit the practice right now. Vamos a omitir la práctica y vamos a continuar con lo, de la, lo que estábamos ayer. Okay, entonces, vamos a tratar de hacerlo al final. Espero que los demás se pudiesen conectar. Si no es el caso, si no se pueden conectar, what we're going to do, lo que vamos a hacer es básicamente a practicar eh, con los que estamos, ¿ok? That's what we're going to do, pero les vamos a hacer un poco de espera, ¿ok? Para, para, yeah, like, to do the same pro the process that we had yesterday, para continuar con el proceso que teníamos ayer. But uh, it's ok. What we're going to do right now is going to be a, a short practice about the things that we were doing. Okay. Y básicamente, este era el vocabulario que estábamos practicando ayer. So remember, we we're talking about the hospital, the underground station, the cinema, library, bus station, supermarket, all right, and workshop. But we're going to stay with this one, okay? Vamos a omitir esto por ahora. Y al final, espero que los demás se puedan conectar y pues podamos hacer la práctica. That's what we're going to be doing. Porque no tenemos las parejitas por sure. el momento. Yes? Okay. I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Um, estábamos, estábamos en, um, hacíamos las preguntas como, what is the library? What is the supermarket? Okay. Pero uh -huh. igual pudiéramos decir, ¿cómo, cómo puedo llegar Ah, por yes. ejemplo, la pregunta sería how do I how do I get to and then the place and then the place Ajá. how do I Ajá. get to the library uh -huh. how do I get to the okay. supermarket Esa es la correcta. Uh -huh. yeah both ways you can do okay. it and this is the correct yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, you can Thank do it that. Okay, and the answer is going to be the same. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, what are we gonna do right now? Listen up. Since this is gonna be a a, a, a we're gonna skip this for the for right now. We're gonna do it at the end. Vamos a darle tiempo a los demás. Tal vez se pueden conectar y podemos hacer la práctica al final. And uh, we're gonna do a review from the topics that we were discussing during the week. That's what we're gonna be doing right now. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso entonces de todo lo que hemos estado viendo. And then we're gonna do some exercises with this information. That's what we're gonna be doing right now. So the first thing that we were practicing uh, on Monday, if you remember, it was preposition of place, okay? Last week, we were practicing prepositions of time. When do we use on? When do we use in? And when do we use at? related to time this week it was related to places okay when do we use on when do we use in when do we use at related to places okay con relación a lugares and the first preposition that we were talking about it was on you remember okay and we got some examples in here short examples Wendy, can you please read the example uh, number one in this? This is taken from the manual. With But, on? Yes. I quiero que lea la primera, la primera, mm. uh, la primera oración, Wendy, y me diga a qué uso pertenece esa, esa, esa preposición. ¿Cuál es el uso de, de, de ese ejemplo con respecto a la preposición? Comfort. On Fourth Avenue. Okay, on Fourth Avenue. Yes. ¿Qué decimos sobre ese uso? Eh, se usa cuando no va a dar una como una dirección completa, que podría ser solo el nombre de la avenida o el nombre de la calle o así, pero incompleto. Mm, okay. Okay. Really good. O, yeah. espe o no específico. Ah, very nice. Yes, en este caso acá tenemos on Fourth Avenue. Acá es, recordemos, cuando damos una dirección, ya sea de nuestro domicilio o del lugar donde trabajamos, but, but, que no es específico. It's not specific. Probablemente solo mencionamos el nombre de la calle, okay, o de la avenida, or something like that, pero no damos específicamente dónde está. Okay, so in that case, we say on Fourth Avenue, as an example, on Roosevelt Avenue. In that case, we can say that. But we are not specifying okay, the exact address. Remember that. Then we got on the corner. Okay, on the corner is the same thing. On the street. Okay, remember that on the street. Okay, those ones are used to mention where we are in that moment, okay? Or where we're going uh, uh, when we're like talking about those things, okay? So if I ask uh, Ana Beatriz in, in the, I ask a question like, Ana, where are you on right now? Where are you on right now? So Ana Beatriz might tell me, I am on the street right now. I am on the street right now. Like, estoy en la calle, okay? En este momento, okay? So in that case, we use on. Remember that, not in, on. Okay, just, just keep that on mind, okay? Just remember that, that, that thing, okay? Besides this information, do you guys remember what are other uses that we got for on? ¿Recuerdan algún otro uso que tengamos para la preposición on related to time? So let's see if you remember. Cuando el, algo está como sobre. Ah, sobre algo. Okay, very good. Yes. When Superface. Talking, uh, surface. Okay. Surface. Very good. Yes. Very good, Brian. Yes, in that case, it, when we talk about surfaces, okay, when something is over over something else okay and we used to give examples if you remember the clock is on 
the wall. Like el reloj está sobre la pared. Okay? The clock is on the wall. Remember that. Okay. Like the cell phone or the computer is on the table or on the desk. Está sobre. Okay. Remember that. En esos casos utilizamos on. Just keep that on mind. Okay. That's, that's the way how we use on. That's pretty much what we were talking about this preposition. Very nice. Now, let's keep going. We are not going to stay that much in here because I know we understand the uses of this preposition. Okay, we got in. Okay, we got in. And for this example, I want Brenda Elizabeth to read the first one. Hi, in El Salvador. In El Salvador. Okay, Brenda. Cuando dice in El Salvador, ¿cuál es el uso de esta preposición ahí? En, con este ejemplo. ¿Qué nos dice el uso? Eh, uh -huh. Lo ocupamos para mencionar pueblos o ciudades. O. Oh. Y también para zonas límites. Ah, very good. Y también incluyendo países. Por ejemplo, in El Salvador, in El Mexico. Salvador. Uh -huh. Very good, Brenda. Thank you. Okay. Yes, in that case, remember, we use in when we mention countries, cities, towns, okay, or places with boundaries, con límites, okay, o lugares, okay, donde estamos dentro, pero que tienen cierto límite. Like, for example, a park, a garden, okay. So I can say the cat is in the garden. The cat is in the garden. Okay. I am in the park. Significa que estoy dentro del parque. En el parque. Okay. Remember that. And also we talk, uh, we use in to mention cities. Okay. I live in San Miguel. Uh, my students live in San Salvador, in San Marcos, in the, uh, where? Santa Ana. So you see? So in that case, is we are mentioning okay, departments, okay? Departments in that case. But we can we can put it that into cities, okay? That goes there, into cities. Okay, just give me a second. Now. All right. In the neighborhood. ¿Qué decíamos que significa neighborhood? Did you remember, guys? Colonia? Colonia, vecindario, as you want to call it, right? That's neighborhood. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Any question with this? Do you have any question related to in? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta preposición? Any use that you might remember besides this one? Okay. I might think that everything is clear and I like that. Okay, good. Let's move on. At. Okay, this was the other one. Okay, and uh, give me a second. Who can tell me about this? Carlos, are you there, Carlos? Carlos? Diga, diga, diga. Aquí estoy. Voy de camino todavía, disculpe, pero aquí voy escuchando. Ok, Carlos, ok, ok. Never mind. Entonces sí, 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 vaya con cuidado, no se preocupe. No se preocupe. Lo iba a poner a leer, pero es mejor que llegue con cuidado. Vamos a poner a Jorge. En, 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 no, pero espérame, aquí, aquí, aquí ya me parqué, solo dígame qué quiere que le lea. Ok, the first example. El primero dice, at the meeting... Room. At the meeting room. Okay, good. Con este ejemplo, Carlos. Yes. Con este ejemplo. Um, ¿Cuál era el uso? Okay, este ejemplo. ¿Cuál era el uso que teníamos con at? Tomando como referencia este ejemplo. El uso que teníamos con relación a este es que, por ejemplo, determinábamos en una cierta hora y en otro algún lugar en específico. 
por ejemplo, ahí sala de reuniones, estamos diciendo. Ah, Entonces es como un lugar donde se lleva a cabo alguna actividad. Ah, ok, very good. Yes, en ese caso es cuando hablamos sobre lugares específicos en donde nos encontramos. No importa si el lugar es encerrado, ok, if it is a closed space, it doesn't matter. Lo que importa es que mencionamos que estamos en ese lugar, ok, en ese momento. Okay. We are like specifying the exact direction that we are in at that moment. So thank you, Carlos. Good. Now, uh, give me a second. Where is, where is my screen? Jorge, are you there? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, yes, I, I, yes. Ah, no, no veía su cuadrícula. Ok, Jorge, besides that, that uh, use that Carlos was saying, what other use do we have for at? At. Yes. In... Es para un lugar bien específico, por ejemplo, si lo hablo en español, por ejemplo, en el cuarto, en, en el autobús, sería at the work, un espacio, estoy en el trabajo. ¿no? At work, uh -huh. ajá. At, uh, the, at the bus station. Uh -huh. Ok. At the... At, eh. Bueno, no sé, algo que puedan cerrar. Ok, uh, one uh, question, one question, Jorge. One question, I'm going to put it easy. Y si yo le pregunto, Jorge, where do you live? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? Utilizando at. 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 Eh, Ahora sí, Plazuela, no, las salidas. Respuesta completa, Jorge, please. Cuando I le digo, at, I live, ajá. I live at Plazuela Las Azaleas. Ajá. And, uh, are you sure? Más específico you? todavía. Eh, ya, yeah, Jorge, porque si usted me está mencionando, yeah, si usted me está mencionando at, nada más eso, ahí, eso, eso es un lugar, right? That's a place. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿es un municipio o...? Ser, ah, entonces, sí. Porque si me está mencionando... No, es una colonia, pero... Entonces... Ah, ok. I live in. Ahí sería in. Recuerde, in the in, neighborhood. In. Entonces, entonces sería, I live at house uh, 23. Ajá, y por lo menos mencionar el nombre de la calle. Uh, es principal Como street. Avenida. Main Street. Main Street. Main Street. Ah, okay. I, I, live, okay. I live at uh, House 23. Uh, Main, Main Street. Street. Main Street. Main Very Street. good. Very good. Yes. Recordemos, si vamos a utilizar at con dirección, tenemos que ser bien específicos en mencionar en la calle, ok? De mencionar inclusive el pasaje, si, si existe algún pasaje ahí, o inclusive el número de casa, ¿ok? Si solo damos parte de la dirección, just part of the address, utilizamos, ya no utilizamos at, utilizamos on, ¿ok? Y si solamente damos el nombre de la colonia, barrio, municipio, donde vivimos, ya sería in, ¿ok? In. Remember that. Okay. Were you about to say something, Wendy? What's the meaning? Pasaje? Oh, ¿cómo se diría? No, no, ¿qué significa? Sino que, ¿cómo se dice? What to say? Ah, that's the same. Let me see. Pasaje. Passage, I bet. Yeah, I sent it to the chat. Pronunciation. That's a passage. Passage. Mm -hmm. Passage. Thank you. Passage. Yes. Okay. Just give me a second. Someone texting me. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, let's continue with this. So let's remember. 
we use at for giving a specific addresses, a specific direction, and to mention a location. Y para mencionar, ok, de manera específica donde nos encontramos, en un lugar específico. También había otro uso uh, de at. Si ¿Sí se recuerdan que utilizamos at cuando estábamos lugar, eh, cerca de ríos. Close to rivers. Ok. Close from rivers. Ok. Si yo estoy cerca a, a unos pocos metros de un río, like por ejemplo, el Empa, I can say, I am at okay, el Empa River. Ok. Remember that. We used to, we have that, that, that use using at. And also when we mention uh, the beach. Ok. Example, if you ask me, where are you at? Si ustedes me preguntan, teacher, where are you at? ¿Dónde se encuentra? Ok. Yo puedo decir, I am at the beach. I am at the beach. ¿Qué significa? Que estoy cerca de la playa. O estoy en la playa, solo que no dentro. Ok. Keep that in mind. ¿Cuándo utilizamos in? Cuando nos referimos a la playa. Cuando ya andamos bañando dentro del mar. Ahí es in the beach. In the beach. Ok. Cuando nos andan revolcando las olas. That's in the beach. Ok. On the beach. Cuando andamos sobre la arena, por así decirlo. Ok. Walking on the shore. Ok. That's on the beach. At the beach. Estamos cerca de la playa, ¿ok? O estamos en algún lugar, like, like a hotel, ¿ok? Close to the beach. Just keep that in mind, ¿ok? Entonces, esa es la importancia de conocer los usos de las preposiciones, ¿ok? Just not to make mistakes with those. Good. Let's continue. Ok, good. Now, ahora bien, entonces, acá... Voy a revisar si realmente le hemos ido, like, agarrando al uso de las preposiciones. What are we going to do right now? Look, ahora acá te traigo unas, unas pequeñas oraciones que, que yo quiero que ustedes me complementen utilizando in, at, or even on when necessary. Just give me a second. I'm going to use this. And for this, we're going to go one by one. Okay. Okay, look at this. Okay, I got two, four, six, seven. Seven sentences. What do I really want with the sentences? Look, I want you to write down those sentences and I want you to write the correct preposition to complete each sentence, okay? Let's do it right now. Let's do it. And let's see what's going on with this information. Okay, let's do the first one. Let's do the first one. And for this one, I want a, the help of uh, Kono, who can help me out with this. Come on, we are just 11 people. Oh my God. Uh, Brenda Elizabeth, can you please be so kind and read number one? Podría por favor leerme la, la número uno? They are sitting. They are sitting. Uh, okay, okay. The table. Esta es la clave. The table, okay. The table. Esta es la clave para identificar qué, cuál es la preposición que yo tengo que utilizar ahí. Okay, now, Brenda, de acuerdo a los usos de cada una de las preposiciones, ¿cuál es la que mejor complementa la oración? In, at, or on? Sería... At. At the table? Are you sure, Brenda? Sí. Ah, ok. Mm. En base, en base a su seguridad, le puedo preguntar, ¿por qué at? Mm, 
Eh, porque está sobre una superficie. Uh -huh. Y cuando hablamos de que un objeto está sobre una superficie, es at. No, es on. Ah, verdad. <risa> ok, ya. <yeah. risa> en la que es no at. Es on, muy bien. Yeah. Estaba confundida. Ok, ok. Ya, yeah. en la que es on. Case, case is on. Very good, Brenda. On. Yes, in that case it's on. So we can say. Ahora le dame la completa entonces. They are sitting on the table. Very good. Yes, that's the correct answer. They are sitting on the table. Very nice. Bien, entonces ahora completemos las demás. Okay, remember, this is this is the, 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 the key. Esto es como la, la, la clave. Ok, el, el complemento que tenemos ahí. Ok, that's the complement. Ahí podemos identificar si es un closed space, si es un lugar específico, or something else. Let me know when you finish, ok? Just let me know when you finish. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going for my water. I'll finish. Okay, very good. Thank you, Claudia. Yes. <laughs> what you doing, Brian? Brian, what you doing? Está <laughs> probando ahí, teacher, lo siento. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's put it in here. It was on. I'm going to delete it. What did I do with this? Please. Tengo dudas con una. Me espero, ¿verdad? Ah. Tengo dudas con una. Which one? Four, number four. One, two, three, four. It's Peter's office, first floor or second floor? Mm. What do you have in there? I don't know. Para mí es on. Ah, might be, might be. Might be, might be. Give me a second. Se me frizó la pantalla. Ah, do you still see my screen? Todavía ven la, la, la presentación. 
No. Ok, dime un segundo. Que se no. Que se me hizo esta cosa. Me sacó. Oh, where is it? Uh, I'm not share screen yet. There you go. ¿Y ahora? Hola, sí. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Ajá, Claudia Margarita. What do you have there? Pienso que es on, pero también creo que puede ser at. Siento que es algo específico. Ajá. No sé. Might be on, it might be at. No sé. Why don't you know, Claudia? Because this, um, uh, all that is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing. Don't worry, we're going to do that later on. But the preposition of uh, time, the more, this is important. Mm -hmm. No, in that case, uh, we're going to see because in that case, when we talk about a specific uh, things, remember, what do we use? Because in that case, we're, we're specifying. Okay? We're not sure about something, but we are specifying that that person it might be, okay, the place of that person might be hmm, first floor or second floor. But in that case, what's the right preposition? Which one do you have? In or on? Or even at? On. On. Mm. Why on? Maybe on. Why on? Because it's... Está como dentro de... Pero si está no, dentro no, no, de... Si está dentro de, sería in. I wrong. Uh, Sería una superficie. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. De ahí ya no estamos hablando de, de que si está dentro o something like that. No, estamos hablando surfaces. About surfaces uh -huh. in a specific direction. Uh -huh. Yes, in that case, it has to be on. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Good. Uh, Good you evening. Good evening. Good evening, mister. Are you on the way home? I'm on the way. Okay. Have a nice. Bye -bye. I'm on the way home. Right. Okay. Have a nice trip. Good. Rosaminta, are you about to finish? Do you finish? No. Todavía estoy terminando. Okay. Very good. This is a uh, with the... Claudia Veronica. Do you finish? No, estoy en eso, teacher. Okay. Ana Beatriz, how about you? Finish, teacher. Thank you. Wendy, I, I think you finished, right? Mm, tenía duda en la misma que <laughs> en four, four ten, sentences. <laughs> okay, but, but I clarified Pero ya that clar <laughs> Okay, very good. Um. Okay. Esther, uh, did you finish? Okay, okay, let's keep going. Mauricio Ernesto, how about you? Finish. Okay, thank you, mister. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Give me a second. Someone is not in the group. Okay, good. Uh, Brenda Elizabeth, did you finish? Una me falta ti. Okay, okay, let's, let's try to finish. 
Jorge Eduardo. I finish. Okay, thank you. Brian, do you finish? Finish. Very nice. Okay, I will give you one more minute. Okay, one more minute in order to continue. Because we need to move on. But wait, we are right now. Oh my God. We are tell, uh, tell people right now. Hmm. Oh, right. Thank you, Claudia. Alter alguna así mentalmente la I think I think you got I think you have problems with the audio, Brian, because La escuché como, como esos remix que hacen, like, <ríe> using trap. <ríe> Pero supongo que alcanzó a decir de que algunas las sabe, algunas las, las, las ha leído, Santi la edad. Yo, David Sánchez, le dije. ¿Cómo? David Sánchez, le digo, yo... Las he hecho así, ¿cómo escribir ahorita? Ah, ok, ok. ¿Me escucha bien? ¿Me escucha bien? Sí, ahorita sí, lo estoy escuchando más o menos bien. Ah, vaya, vaya, está bien, aquí estoy pendiente. Ok, perfect, have a nice trip. Ok, conduzca con cuidado. It's pretty dangerous to drive at night. Good, now let's continue. We got. Yeah, basically seven minutes after nine. So let's let's keep going. Uh, we did number one. Okay, so remember they are sitting on the table. It was made by who was the one who helped me out with this? Ah, Brenda. Yeah, Brenda uh, helped me out with that one. Brian, can you please help me out with the second one? Please read it completely, including the preposition that you have. Okay. I want to spend a year in Brazil. Okay. Why in, Brian? ¿Por qué utilizamos in ahí, Brian? Porque eh, la preposición dice que se puede utilizar cuando mencionamos un país. Okay. Very good, Brian. That's correct. That's right. Thank you. Let's see with number three. I want Rosamita to help me. Number three. Uh, the, the mix in is not uh, yo, yo puse in, pero tengo dudas. <laughs> Ok, va, bien. ¿Y por qué, por qué puso in? Este... Why in? Porque... Ah, no, no, puse on porque entiendo que es como en, como, en la, como en la superficie, porque está preguntando, según entiendo yo, está preguntando dónde está... Eh, la leche que si está dentro del refrigerador según entiendo yo verdad ajá, ajá. pero es que ahí tengo la duda no sé si on para superficie o, o pero in es como yo entendí que solo para lugares encerrados no sé si puede entrar eso el refrigerador dentro del lugar encerrado no sé yes it's a close space Ajá, entonces. Ok, ok. No entonces, sé cuál de la dos, in, on. Ajá, pero por cual, si tuviera que decidir por una, si estamos hablando de que la leche está dentro de la refri, ¿cuál elige? ¿In sí. or on? On. On. Porque. No, in, porque es dentro de un lugar encerrado. Ah, yes, in that case. 
you should use in instead of on. ¿Ok? ¿Cuándo yo utilizaría on? Cuando la leche no la tengo dentro de la refri, la tengo arriba de Cuando la refri. Cuando está sobre. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Si yo okay. tuviera on, entonces la leche no estuviera dentro, estuviera sobre la refri. Sobre. Ah, Ajá, okay. No dentro. Okay. In that case, I will use on. But in that case, we can use in. Remember in. that? In. Okay. Uh, in the fridge. Okay. The milk is not in the fridge. Where is it? Okay. Where is it? Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Rosa. Let's see. Claudia Margarita, the one who gave you problems. Can you please read it? <laughs> is your office on first floor or second floor? Ah, on first floor or second floor? Okay, good. Why on? Because it's over the floor. Ah, okay, very good. Yes, basically that's why we use on. Okay, yes. very nice, Claudia. Thank you. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, with the next one, I want. Who can help me out? Jorge, help me out, please. Why is this cloud on the bell? Okay, why on, mister? Está sobre una superficie, sobre algo, on, on the bell, sobre on la cama. On the bell. Okay, very good. Yes, in that case, it has to be on the bed because we're touching a so surface. Why is this close on the bed? Very nice. Uh, Wendy, help me out with the next one. Please put that clothes in the closet. In the closet. Why in? Porque está dentro del closet. <laughs> Because it's inside a place. Okay, very good. In the closet. Very nice. Recordemos, si yo le digo a Wendy, put that clothes on the closet. Significa que usted no lo va a meter. La va a poner arriba del closet. Okay, sobre el closet. Utilizando okay. on. Utilizando oh, on. Oh. Utilizamos on. Okay. Oh, Yo le digo, okay. Wendy, pon esa, esa, esa ropa sobre el closet, ¿ok? So, put that clothes on the closet, arriba, ¿ok? The closet is in here, so put, ¿ok? Over that. Ok. okay. Good. Let's... Es, pero este es in. Yes, it, it's in. In. Yes, yes. Ok. Nice. You can help me out with the next one. Ana Beatriz, help me out, please. At home. Read, read, read again. I didn't listen. Can you please repeat the, the, the... Are you at home? Ah, are you at home? Very good. Why at, Ana? Why at? And not on and not in. Uh, the microphone is off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cuando nos referimos a un lugar específico como el lugar. Ah. O sea, voy a la casa, al lugar. Okay, very good. Yes, in that case, we are... Eh, talking about or asking about an a specific place and our house is an a specific place recordemos que cuando nos referimos a home okay, nosotros decimos at no in okay? nosotros decimos in cuando mencionamos la palabra house in the house y con home es at at home in the house entonces yo puedo decir I am in the house ok I am in the house. Cuando menciono la palabra house. Pero cuando ya me refiero a, a home, diría I am at home. Ok. I am at home. Remember that. Ok. 
Good. Let's continue. I hope everybody has already finished those sentences. And let's keep going with uh, the next things that we have. Okay. Now we're going to do a short talk. Okay. Using prepositions. And that's cool. We are 12. Ya que habemos 12, we're going to practice this short conversation. Look. This is a short talk. Esta es una pequeña, uh, pequeñísima conversación para preguntar sobre la dirección o la locación del lugar de trabajo. Ok. That we have. Ok. It says, tell me, where do you work? Ok. Like, dime, ¿dónde trabajas? Tell me, where do you work? Ok. I Disculpe, work. Disculpe, teacher. Eso está en el manual. Yes. Okay. It's in the manual. I took it from the manual. Yes. It says, tell me, where do you work? I work in... Y ahí vamos a colocar nosotros o vamos a mencionar en la práctica el lugar donde nosotros trabajamos. O si no lo quieren mencionar, pues podemos utilizar otro, otro nombre. Okay, there's no problem in there. Okay. And it says the next person, where is it? Okay, where is it? ¿Dónde, dónde queda? Okay, o ¿dónde, ¿dónde es ese lugar? Where is it? It is. Okay, it is. Y acá. Ok, va, ahí va a depender de qué tan específicos seamos con la dirección. Si damos una dirección exacta, ¿cuál es la preposición que vamos a utilizar? In, or, o at. At. Ah, very good. Yes. Si vamos a dar una dirección específica, vamos a utilizar at. Ok, si solo vamos a mencionar el neighborhood, the neighborhood, o... O, oh, what can I say? The, the municipality, o, o solamente el municipio, donde queda el lugar de trabajo, ¿cuál vamos a utilizar? In. In, very oh. good. Uh, has to be in, mister. <laughs> on, uh, yeah. on, on, utilizaríamos si solamente damos parte de la dirección donde se encuentra ese lugar. Por ejemplo, on, Roos, on Roosevelt Street. Ajá, very good. Ah, ok, ok. En este okay. caso, cuando solamente mencionáramos parte de la dirección, como el nombre de la calle, ok, o la avenida. Entonces, an example. En mi caso, yo diría, it is on Roosevelt Street. Ok, it is on Roosevelt Street. In, ahí puse, puse la preposición in, para mencionar, ahí ya podemos mencionar el lugar. In Santa Tecla, in Ilopango, for example. Okay? Just, just to be more specific. Okay? In Santa Tecla. And you, where do you work? Well, you know, it is, en este caso acá, yo personalmente eliminaría el it is. Dime un segundo. Give me a second. I will eliminate this one. ¿Y qué pondría acá? Si dice, where do you work? I work in... Ok. I work... Excuse me. Yes, give me a second. Give me a second. Porque estaba modificando ahí. There you go. Ahora sí lo ves. Ah, oh, give me a second. Yes. And in here we can put the place. Okay. There you go. Okay. It says. Where do you work? It says, uh, well, I work in, y ahí ponemos el nombre de la otra persona del lugar donde trabaja. Okay? That's pretty much what we're going to do in this short practice. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? 
con relación a lo que vamos a hacer. This is a conversation between two people, okay? This is a short conversation between two people. Acá no nos vamos a tardar mucho. Acá, pues, vamos a, a, a básicamente hablar sobre el lugar donde nosotros trabajamos. Uh, y si no queremos mencionarlo como le, le dije, podemos mencionar el nombre de otro lugar. And there's no problem, okay? There's no problem at all. Carlos, are you about to get home? Ahorita llegar voy, teacher. Ya listo para la, la práctica. Very good. Thank you, mister. How about you, mister Elias? Um, already. Okay, very nice. Very nice. So I'm going to take a short screenshot. Give me a second. There you go. I'm going to send this. Okay. I'm going to send a screenshot to the group. So we are going to divide this class into small groups. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. In here. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Okay. Good. Entonces, voy a mandar un screenshot de la conversación al grupo, por si la necesitamos, aunque en el manual está también. I'm going to show the manual. Pero como nos vamos a ir a trabajar en, en pequeños grupos, en pequeñas sesiones, pero antes de hacerlo, I'm going to, to pass the attendance list. Antes de hacerlo, vamos a pasar asistencia, ¿ok? Let's see. Catherine Dinora. Ok, no here. A uh, Catherine Daniela. Not here yet. Oscar Mauricio. Ok, not here. Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Carolina. Not here. Wendy Maribel. Present, chair. Thank you. Brian Javier. Present. Thank you, Mr. Ada Karina. Okay, no here. Elias Daniel. Present, professor. Thank you, Mr. Sandra Beatriz. No here. Claudia Verónica. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Mauricio Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio Antonio. Hey, Mauricio Antonio. Not here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Ah, Rosa Minta. Thank you. Braulio. Carlos David. Present. Thank you. Jorge Eduardo. Present. Mister Esther Abigail. Present. Thank you. And uh, Claudia Margarita. Present. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Okay, good. Now let's move on. Okay, to the to the mini sections. I'm going to split the classes. We are 12. So it's gonna be six. Okay, six groups of classes. Nice. Remember, vamos a colocar nuestra propia información ahí. Okay. Just keep just keep that in mind. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to access the uh okay good now i'm going to split the class in in sections and remember we're going to practice that conversation for son las nueve con diez 
Okay, 9.20, vamos a terminar la práctica. Okay, I'm going to call them to the main section. Let's go to practice, people. Okay, please give, a, a, give a, the, 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 the agreement to, to move on to the section, please. En McCormick trabaja, ya sé, ya. Tell me, where do you work? I work in San Salvador. Mm. Where is it? O sea, quizás el lugar, no. Ajá, a ver, como la empresa para que le diga. Después puede decir San Salvador o la dirección. Porque aquí le, le pregunto dónde es eso. Ajá, Antiguo Cuscatlán. Eh, sería It is Antiguo Cuscatlán. Ah, bueno. Pues ahí sigue. Ok. And you, where do you work? Ok. I work in Genesis Travel Agency. Ok. Si quiere, where is it también? Where is? Aunque no sea ahí, así. Ok. Where is? It is, it is at Independencia Avenue, el Carmen Street, on the corner, in Santa Ana. Ok. Uh, ya ya no le preguntaría it is entonces no. ya me dijo en uh -huh. Santa Ana. okay uh -huh. a preguntar de nuevo bueno. yeah. o le pregunto yo vaya perdón ahora usted <risa> haga la a y yo la la b la... de mi guardo you work I work in Meta Servi Where is it? It is, it is, no, it is in Ilopango. Are you, where do you go? Where I work well, in, well, 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 uh -huh. well, in, I work in laboratory. Okay. Vaya, ahora lo volvemos a hacer. Repítalo usted la A y yo le respondo la B. Ok. They, me, where do you work? I work in Meca Servi. Sí, uh -huh. Y luego dice in. En la última, well, I in work in. Sería in San Salvador. Sería. Uh -huh. siempre, siempre en la B. Sí, en la B. En la B. Ajá. Pero es que después... Piché, ¿en, qué, ¿En qué página está el, el ejercicio? Ah, uh, from this one. ¿En qué uh, página está el ejercicio? Ok, give me a second. I will, I will give you the page. Give me a second. In my one. It is on page... I think here it's in page 42. It's in page 42. Oh, okay. Thanks. On the bottom, on the bottom from page uh, 42. Mm -hmm. Ah, pero es que está diferente. 
Está diferente. Bro. Yes. Give me a second. I will take a screenshot from this one and I will send it to the group so you can see it. Give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, split this into and I got it in here. In here. There you go. Now I will send it to the group. Give me a second. Guardar como imagen. I'm gonna put it on this. Ajá, porque aquí en el manual está. Yes, yes. Termina. Dime second. It is. Y ahí le pongo yo la proposición mm -hmm. y la dirección, digamos. Y aparece and you y tú dice donde trabajas. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, I'm going to send it in a second. Picture number two. Picture number two. Ok. Here you go. Got it. Uh, good, I send it. Entonces lo hacemos así como en la imagen que nos yes. ha mandado el grupo. Exactly. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Ok. Yes, in that case. Mm -hmm. This is the one that we're going to be practicing. I will give you some extra minutes for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, let's practice that one, okay? I'm gonna check another group. Okay. Sigue. En you le corresponde a usted, ¿verdad? Yo solo la respuesta. En you, what do you want? No, no, no. Sigue la pregunta ahí. En you, what do you want? Siempre tú. I work. En you, what do you want? Y yo voy a responder. Okay, well, I work yeah, in Universal Studios. Ah, Universal Studios. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Esther. <laughs> yes, Esther. En ese caso, Esther, a usted le tocaría repetir eso. Vaya, por ejemplo, si dice it is, y luego da la dirección de donde trabaja, al final cuando usted dice in, y da el, el ya sea la ciudad o todo, luego dice usted, and you, where do you work? Y es como para que usted diga, ¿Y tú dónde trabajas? ¿Ok? Eso le pertenece a Se revierte la pregunta. Exactamente. Entonces Exacto. usted le devuelve, okay. le devuelve la pregunta a ella. Uh -huh. Ok. Teacher, okay. una pregunta. En Universal Studies. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yeah, tell me. Uh, the address is at Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. Y pero para leer el número, ¿cómo hago? Yo le he puesto 98-210, pero no sé cómo lo leo en inglés. 98-210. Ajá. 98. No hay otro más pero, corto. 210. <risa> Así como se oye. Yeah, yeah. Ok. Es que um, yo, he visto que, yo a veces he visto que pone, por ejemplo, 201 o 1 o pero no, es, es así. Ajá, es que cuando mencionan O, oh, eh, eh, cuando mencionan el cero, que, 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 que dicen O, oh, generalmente oh, es cuando, uh -huh. ajá, cuando damos un número de teléfono, más que todo. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ah, okay. Ajá, que usted okay, si okay. le dice, my phone number is 702-702-702. Y cuando hay dos números repetidos, como por ejemplo, 88, dicen double eight. Ok, ok. Ajá, double eight. Okay. Double eight. Ajá. Yes. Ok. Muy bien. Y la última parte donde decía, well, it is. Ajá, lo cambié a well I work in. Well I work Ajá. in. Entonces ahí simplemente vamos a dar el nombre de la, de la empresa donde, donde trabaja. I work uh -huh. in Coca-Cola. I work in uh, what? La Constancia. I work okay. in uh, Diana. Yes, it's okay. It's the name. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay. Again, Esther, copy. Okay. Okay. Uh, Esther, Esther, tell me where do you work? I work in quality grains. Uh, where is it? ¿Cuánta gente no está? Bastante. Piche, ¿cómo nos ayuda bien? O sea, él es el culpable. What? What happened? What happened? What happened? Finish, teacher. Ya practicamos. Ah, you finished? Ah, that's cool. Yes. yes. That's really cool. Ya, yeah, vamos yes. a esperar a los otros que están algunos ahí que medio, medio eh, confundidos, pero ya les hemos estado explicando how, how they do this. Teacher, aprovechando, eh, yo ya entré a la plataforma y ya elaboré el todo lo que tengo pendiente. Ah, really no sé cool. si ya vio, no sé si ya vio mi, mi, ¿cómo se llama? Mi avance. Prácticamente ya terminé todo. Ok, eh, ¿y el examen final? ¿Cómo de el examen? Yes. Eh, de, que va de, dividido eh, eso en cuatro partes, del 25, 25, 25. Yes. Ah, cool. Ok, cool. Eso cool. no lo había hecho yo. Ah, ya. Yeah. <risa> eh, by the way, este, sí, este... Uh, mañana sería como fecha límite, Carlos, porque sí, mañana en la noche después de clase me gustaría subir ya las notas al sistema, porque sí, ya okay. uh, es un requerimiento que ya para el sábado ya esté todo. Done, before eight. Lo que tengo pendiente nada más es la encuesta por obediencia, no la he tocado. Eh, yes. <ríe> sí, es que mm -hmm. sí, este, eh, mañana de las nueve en adelante, sí, creo que a las nueve. Eh, creo que se va a unir otra persona okay, con nosotros y cualquier duda que podamos tener ahí, pues yo voy a estar explicando cómo vamos a ir haciéndolo, aunque básicamente solo es copia y pega, porque ahí en el link que nos han mandado, ahí están todos sí. los datos que vamos a ir rellenando. Uh -huh. Sí, ya lo vi, está, de hecho ya le, le tomé una captura para uh -huh. tenerla a la mano, porque igual, o sea, como eh, la encuesta la voy a contestar en el teléfono, porque ahí tengo el link. Ajá, solo que hay que ser ajá, cuidadosos con los números que piden ahí, con el sí. código de grupo creo que es algo así, entonces hay varios números, hay algunos unos guiones, una fleca creo inclusive, entonces hay que tener ajá, un tanto de cuidado ahí, pero ya, yeah, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Sí, sí porque uh, ya tengo así, ellos mandaron todo la, la fecha, el nombre del curso, en qué fecha uh -huh. se inició, en qué finalizó. La orden de inicio, todo uh -huh. eso. Yes, entonces, eh, ajá, entonces sí, mañana tenemos que colocar toda esa información en el lugar apropiado y pues ya después ahí van a decir que tan a gusto han estado con este servidor. Ok, bueno, hay, hay, hay mucha duda. Oh my God. Okay. No, para nada. Ya no, ya no me vieron en futuros no, cursos. No, para nada, teacher, okay. todo estuvo muy bien. Sí, todo bien, gracias. Yes. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Okay. Muy bien, entonces voy a revisar otro grupo y ya en unos minutitos vamos a entrar a la principal, ¿ok? Ok. International. Control risk. Control risk. Entonces, que se van a bajar? Buenas noches. Para llevar, Dígame. Espérame tantito.
Encima de nosotros. Ajá, ajá. que tenemos sobre. Exacto. El on, el on de, ajá, de sobre. Va el, el on, el in y el a, más o menos está como claro. ¿va? Del in, el in lo que lo, nos confundía, vaya, por lo menos en este es in the park porque está dentro del parque. Dentro del parque. Uh -huh. Pero digamos at the bank, ahí es at the bank porque estamos como en algo específico, Exacto. como una dirección específica. Exacto. Ahí es donde está at home, at work. Pues, Exacto. Estamos, estamos estudiando eh, aparte de... <ríe> ok, good. Bien, entonces ahora ya, yeah, vámonos a la sección principal. Ok. 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 <ríe> Okay, now that we are in the main section, let's see how much did you practice. And for this, I want um, Jorge Eduardo, work with your classmate, please. Brian. Okay, Brian. Okay. Let's do it. Tell me, tell me where do you work? I work in school. Where is it? It is on the Ceiba de Guadalupe in San Salvador. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in Antiguo Cocatán. Nah, okay, very good. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Claudia Margarita. <laughs> Okay, Esther, tell me where do you work? I work in Quality Grains. Where is it? It is on Highway to Comalapa in San Marcos. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in Universal Studios. Uh -huh, okay. Sophisticated. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you, Esther, and thank you, Perfect. Claudia. Um, Wendy and uh, Ana Beatriz, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Good. Start. <laughs> Wendy? Tell me, where do you work? I work in my own company. Where is it? It is Antigua Puscatlán. And you, where do you work? I work in Genesis Travel Agency. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Anna, and thank you, Wendy. Very good. Um, Brenda. And, uh, Con Rosa. Yeah, Rosamita, right? Good. Hello. Let's do the practice. Tell me, where do you work? I work in laboratory. Where is it? It's in Soyapango. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in Megaservi. Okay, excellent, Rosa. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, Claudia Veronica, who do you work with? I think you work with Carlos, right? Yes. I know you, you were the one who was talking about me, huh? Hmm. Carlos. Okay. Dice aquí estoy. Eh, no sé si comienza usted o yo ahí vea. Así como, como, como. Ah, ya le pregunto, va, comienzo con. Ok. Tell me where do you work? I work in Control Risk Group. Ok. Where is it? It is 
in the Escalon San Salvador. Okay. And you, and you, where do you work? Well, I work in Polygons. Well. Where do you work, Carlos? Ah, I work in Qualicons. Así se llama el lugar. Ah. ¿Dónde está? Ah, o sea, fui específico en la empresa. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. All right, good. Yeah. So, okay. thank, thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Claudia. You did it okay. good. Ah, uh, who's missing? Ah, uh, Mauricio Ernesto and Elias. I think he was with Elias. Yeah. Ready, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Tell me, where do you work? I work in San Salvador, my friend. Where is it? Um, okay, my... My job is uh, on. I, I, excuse me, I work on the idea. <laughs> I, you... I work in San Salvador in the idea. In the idea. Okay, okay. But it says where, where is, is it? it? Yeah, you uh, said. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, then... It is it, 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 uh, on 49 Avenue. Okay, in 49 Avenue, very good. And what do you work? Okay. I work in International Control Risk Group. Ah, okay, very good. International Control Risk Group. So you work with in the same company with uh, Claudia Veronica, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. Ah, yes. Your, yes. Your co-workers. <laughs> ah, that's cool. I didn't know that. Ah, that's nice. Your co-workers. Excellent. Okay, good. So let's move on with the information that we were doing. Okay. So that was basically a short practice about giving directions. Okay. Now let's move on. With the information, it was the, 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 the conversation, the short conversation that we had. Now let's move on to the uses of there is and there are. Okay, remember it was another topic that we were discussing like two days ago. Okay, and remember we use there is when we talk about singular nouns. Okay when we are talking about something in singular. We got the examples in here. And because I don't want to read, I want to ask to Carlos to help me out with the first example. To read the, the first example. Okay. There is an ATM across the street. Thank you. Okay. There is an ATM across the street. How many ATMs? Only one, okay? That's why we use, okay, there is, okay? Y recordemos, ahí es countable, ATM, something that we can count, algo que podemos contar, okay? Good, Brenda Elizabeth, can you please read the second example and please turn on the camera? Thank you. There uh... Recruit, eh, esta palabra se me okay. olvida como... Ok, vamos a decir, there's a recruitment center. There's a recruitment... Ok, recruitment, recruitment... Ajá. Uh -huh. Center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Thank you, Brenda. Very good. Yeah, there's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. If you take a look in there, what you're talking about? You're talking about one place, 
What place? A recruitment center. Can we count that place? Yes, we can do it because it's a building. It's a structure, okay? And we can count the structures. That's why we use there is. Solo que ahí there is lo tenemos contractado. Okay, there's. Remember that, there's. Entonces igual ahí es un countable noun. And then we got a negative. And for the negative, I want Claudia Margarita to help me out reading. Uh, there's a clothing factory around the corner. Thank you. There's no clothing factory around the corner, okay? So in that case, this is still something that we can count, okay? But in this case, it's a negative, negative example, okay? In that case, we just add the no word in there and we have a negative sentence. Remember, okay, besides this one, remember that we can use there is with uncountable nouns. Nouns that we cannot count, okay? Like for example, sugar, uh, oil, sand, son palabras que no podemos contar. So, en ese caso, utilizamos también there is. Remember that. Let's keep going. Then we got there are. This is in the manual, by the way, okay? There are, remember that we use there are Okay, together with plural nouns, only with plural nouns. Okay, just with plural nouns. And for this one, I want Mauricio Ernesto to help me out reading the first example. There are no hospital on Barrio Street. Uh, the first example, Mauricio. I don't know. There are a lot of companies down the street. Thank you. Yes, there are a lot of companies down the street. How many companies? No tenemos un dato exacto porque tenemos un quantifier acá. A lot of. ¿Qué significa a lot of? Significan muchas. O muchos. Ok. A lot of. Remember, significan muchos o muchas. En este caso, no estamos dando un dato específico de cuántas companies, pero nos hace, ok, ahora la, uh, nos hace ver que aquí ya no estamos hablando solo de una, sino de más de una, ok? So that's why we use there are. Remember that. Then we got the second example. And for the second example, I want Jorge to help me out reading. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Thank you. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Good. Tenemos acá otro quantifier, que es some. ¿Qué decíamos que significa some? Does somebody remember? Algunas. Algunos o algunas. Okay, because in here we don't specify gender. Thank you, Anna. Yes, in that case, remember that quantifier means algunos or algunas. Okay, just to make the plural. The plural of what? About supermarkets. Okay, entonces ahí no estamos dando un número exacto, pero estamos diciendo que hay algunos supermercados. Okay, a la derecha y a la izquierda de la calle. Okay. There you go. That's why we use there are because it's more than one supermarket. And then we got the last one. Brian, help me out reading the last example. There are no hospitals on Barrios Street. Okay. There are no hospitals on Barrios Street. In that case, that is a negative sentence. Remember that. Ahí ya tenemos una oración negativa. What do we do in there? Simplemente agregamos no. ¿Ok? En Guarda si says, no hay hospitales, ¿ok? En Barrios Street, la calle Barrios. That case, even though, ok, it's something that it doesn't have, 
inclusive ahí que es algo que no tiene esa calle, pero igual podemos hacer las oraciones, ¿ok? Eh, utilizando plurales, ¿ok? Para decir no hay hospitales, something in plural, ¿ok? Good. Do we have any question with this information? Remember, this is just a feedback that we are doing because this information we practiced uh, like two days ago, two sections ago. Now, I ask you, do we have any question with this? Tenemos alguna duda con respecto a esta información? Something that might not be clear for you? Or everything is okay? Everything is okay. Ah, okay. So everything is okay. Good. I like to hear that. So let's move on. Let's move on with this. What are we going to do right now? We're going to do a practice of something. We're going to complete this. Look, it says complete the sentences using there is and there are. Easy. What are we gonna do here? Okay, I got some sentences and you want, let, let me see. You have to write in there if we use there is or there are at the beginning. Okay, just let me know when you finished. Good. I got two, four, five sentences in there. Just complete them using there is or there are. And let me know when you finish so we can move on. So we have a bag on the table, a calendar on the wall, two posters are in my room, two cushions on the sofa, and children in the dark. I finish. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Hmm. What are you thinking, Claudia Finished. Margarita? Thank you, Jorge. What are What's you the thinking? meaning yard? Uh, yard, patio. Finish. Thank you, Anna. Finish. Thank you, Wendy. What is the meaning cushions? Ah, meaning of cushions. Okay, cushions yeah. are those oh, yes. small. Exactly. Cojines. ¿Qué dijo? Cojines. Cushions. Son los que se le ponen al sofá. Dos, dos, dos little things, oh. like como almadas. Como cojines. almadas pequeñitas, como ah. son cojines. Oh. Exactly, that's cushions. Oh. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you finish, Brian? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Claudia Veronica. Finish. Thank you, Brenda. Ya casi, solo me faltan dos. Okay, hurry up. Rosa Minta. You there? Okay, okay. 
Nice. Let's move on then. Okay, let's read the ones that we got. Oh, let's see. Ana Beatriz, read the first one. Uh, there is a bag on the table. Okay, there is a bag on the table. Very good. Thank you, Ana. Wendy, read number two. There is a calendar on the wall. Okay, very good. Thank you. There is a calendar on the wall. Uh, Brian, read the next one. There, there are posters in my room. Uh, repeat again. There are two posters in my room. Ah, yeah, there are two posters in my room. Was that one? Okay, good. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Mauricio Ernesto, the next one. There are uh, 12. Uh, yeah, 12. Question? There are cushion on the Okay, thank you. Yes, there are 12 cushions on the sofa. And uh, Brenda Elizabeth, can you please read the last one? There are children in the yard okay there are children in the yard uh por qué ponemos there are in other is ahí um, porque son niños <laughs> porque son niños <laughs> ah yeah porque la palabra children es el plural okay y significa niños very good Ana <laughs> porque son niños <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yes in that case if we say child is only one children it might be two three four okay and that's a plural form thank you uh thank you Brenda and thank you Ana for 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 the answer to that okay good so we're gonna stop the presentation so we're gonna stop the presentation and we are going to move to let me see to the platform on the manual okay actually i remember that in here we don't have the manual on the platform we're gonna move to the pdf i got here and do you remember the conversation that we were practicing last class? Uh, give me a second. This conversation. I think it was this one. The Melbourne building. Okay, with this information, we just practice the conversation, okay? But below the conversation over here, there are some questions. Abajo de esa conversación, tenemos tres preguntas sobre esa misma conversación. Okay, and we did not complete that last class, if you remember. Y la vez que estuvimos practicando esta, esta chat conversation, no le dimos respuesta a esas tres interrogantes. What are we going to do right now? Voy a leer la conversación one more time as a whole. Ok, y luego vamos a contestar esas tres interrogantes de esta conversación. Ok, just pay attention to the conversation practice and, uh, and then we're going to ask and give the answers to those questions. It says, remember, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. 
Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. That's the conversation that we were practicing uh, two classes ago. Yeah, two sections ago. Now, these are the questions. Okay. Now that you got your manuals, okay. Bien, ahora que creo que todos tenemos los manuales, or most of you got the manuals, let's open them up and give the answer to these three questions. The first question, it says, how many Melbourne buildings are there? Okay, ¿cuántos edificios Melbourne hay? Okay, where is the building where Will wants to go located? Okay. ¿Dónde está el edificio donde Will quiere ir? Okay. How many training centers are there? ¿Cuántos centros de entrenamiento hay ahí? ¿O centros de capacitación? Okay. Where are they? ¿Dónde están? Okay. Where are you going to find that information? In here. In the conversation. Okay. Uh, it's 9.50. Three. I'm gonna give four minutes for that to finish. Okay, four minutes for those questions to be finished. Let me know when you finish. Okay, just let me know. Ok, ¿hay alguien de acá del grupo que no tenga el manual? ¿Someone that might not have the manual? Yo no lo tengo. Ok, uh, no sé si copié las preguntas. Acá, acá están las preguntas. Ok, copialas y luego voy a poner la conversación para que ahí eh, you can give the answer. Hmm. You're sleepy, Carlos. Hmm. <laughs> Tired. Ya con ganas este día, sí. Yes. Hard. Pero ahí vamos. Yeah, that's a good thing. Don't keep the motivation. Don't quit. Yeah, yo copié las preguntas. Okay, good. Now, let's move on to the conversation. Here's the conversation. Just let me know when you finish. I finish. Thank you, Claudia. Finish. Thank you, Anna.
Okay. Wendy, are you about to finish? No, it's my deep, very difficult for me. <laughs> really? Difficult? Okay, yes. Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see the first one, what it says, the first one. Okay, for this. Um, I don't understand what questions. Okay, it says the first question. How many billboard buildings are there? ¿Cuántos edificios Melbourne hay? Okay, en la conversación vamos a irnos. Y dice, Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Ahí tenemos la respuesta. Look. Pero cómo redactar las respuestas es lo que no... O sea, hay tal cosa, pero no... There are... Four, Normal, así. Ajá, there are four buildings. Melbourne buildings. Oh. Hay cuatro edificios Melbourne. De sé que Just solo es de usar there are. Hola. En ese. En ese de usar there are four yes, Melbourne por... buildings. Va, porque acá dice, mire, how many, cuántos, uh -huh. cuántos, significa how many. Melbourne buildings yeah. are there. ¿Cuántos edificios builders hay? Entonces acá, there are four Melbourne, Melbourne buildings. buildings. Ah, okay. Esa sería la respuesta. Ok. okay. Uh, oh, Next question. Dice la segunda. Where is the building where we we'll want to go located? Donde se encuentra el edificio donde Will quiere ir. Ahí está en la conversación. No sé. It says, a girl told me to go to the building on Main yeah, Street. It says, I know uh, it is down the street on left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are lots of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Ahí está. Who gives the answer? Tania. Tania gives the answer. The answer in Tania. There are a lot of training centers. It is. Where is the building that where Wales wants to go located? ¿Dónde está el edificio? Huh? Usted solo va a dar la dirección ahí. No necesariamente es lo de abajo, lo de Tania, es lo de más arribita. ¿Qué es eso? Lo de There you go. Okay, Tania, sabe. Yes. Depende de ahora. What's the meaning down? Uh, when it says down the street, it's like sobre la carretera o al bajar. Good. Uh, let's see who, who has finished. ¿Quién terminó ya? Besides Claudia Margarita. Jorge, did you finish? I finished. You finished? Finish. Okay, good. Thank you. Anna, you finished, right? Yes, finished. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Rosa Minta, how about you? Carlos, 
Brenda, Elías, Mauricio, Esther y Eufene. Ya. Yeah. Solo pongan un dedito así y se finish. Si no, pues. <laughs> okay, good. But let's see how many we got in here. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to read this thing and I'm going to put the conversation. Permítame, voy a pinchar la pantalla. There you go. Good. I'm going to start with the question. I'm going to read the question. It says question number one. How many Melbourne buildings are there? Brenda, leame la respuesta de la pregunta uno. There are mm -hmm. four full Melbourne buildings. Okay, thank you, Brenda. That's correct. Question number two, it says, where is the building where Will wants to go located, Claudia Margarita? The building is on Main Street, on Dundee Street, on the left side. Ah, okay, very good, thank you. Yes, that's the answer. And the last one, how many training centers are there? Where are they, Carlos? Okay, no sé si está bien, pero así la hice. There are a lot of training centers. Ah, okay. Sí, porque acá no da cuántos. Solo dice there are a lot of training centers. Ajá, good. Yes. Y luego dice, where are they? ¿Dónde están? Ok, entonces ahí usted tiene que poner, they are, o sea, luego, there are a lot of training centers, punto. Luego, they are, en respuesta a la otra pregunta, they are, y comience. Ok, they are eh, ¿qué? Eh, on, the, on the main and King Street. On the building between Main and King Street. Ok, on the building between Main and King Street. Ok, very good. Yes, you have to give this, all this. Ok, all this. They are on the building between Main and King Street. Ok, y esa sería la respuesta. Answer two. Number it's three. It's down the street on the left side. Yes. Yes. Oh. That's the answer. Very good. Nice people. Yo algo, Ajá. Yo algo así lo puse esa parte, pero yo le puse where are a lot on the building between my and King Street. Yes, no sé okay. si está bien. It's okay, it's okay. Así es una manera yo. de hacerla. Ajá, no hay problema. Eh, yo lo hice con lo del punto así, como para tenerlas separadas, pero si usted la quiere hacer todo de una vez, it's okay. It's still okay, right? Nice. Okay, it's 10 o 5. Wow. Ni me había fijado que son las 10 con 6. Uh, time flies. But anyways, let me see, people. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. And I'm going to pass the attendance list and then we are going to finish this section. Give me a second. The exam in the platform. Uh, yes. What uh, items? Eh, ya, le voy a, ya vamos a hablar de ello, okay? Give me a second. Solo voy a pasar asistencia. Uh, Catherine Dinora, not here. Catherine Daniela, yeah, no here. Right? Oscar Mauricio, he didn't come today. Did you show up? Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Carolina. Ah, yeah, Brenda Carolina. I have problems with this. 
a Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Ada Karina. Didn't show up today. Elias Daniel. Thank you, Mr. Sandra Beatriz. Didn't show up today. Uh, Claudia Veronica. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, Mauricio Ernesto. Present. Okay. Mauricio Antonio is not here. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Rosa Minta. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos David. Present. Thank you, Mr. Jorge Eduardo. Present. Okay, thank you. Esther Abigail. Esther Abigail. Are you there? Present. Thank you. And uh, Claudia Margarita. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Okay. Uh, any question, people? Eh, con lo del examen, uh, les mencionaba, please, please, tratemos de hacerlo a más tardar mañana, este, porque el sábado ya tienen que estar subidas esas notas al sistema. Entonces, si tienen un chance mañana durante el día, please, antes de la clase, o no sé, después de la clase, if you want, pero preferentemente antes de la clase, este, porque sí, mañana, mañana hay que subir esas notas. Please try to do it, ¿ok? The final exam. ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto a ello, Wendy? Creo que usted era la que me mencionaba ello. Eso. Sí, que a dónde, como en la plataforma a veces eh, cuesta como encontrar a dónde está el ítem o qué es lo que vamos a buscar o eso. Mm, ajá, ok. Yes, pero en ese caso, oh, give me a second. Eh, la cosa de las secciones eh, está bastante sencillo, Wendy. Look, I'm going to share screen from the platform. Ah, okay. Está bastante sencillo. Mire, acá está lo, de, lo del módulo, ok. Lo del curso, se viene usted a la sección 4, que es lo que hemos estado trabajando. Estas son las tareas que usted ha estado haciendo, ¿ok? Que ya mañana culminaríamos con la última tarea. Bien, entonces, acá está el final exam. Look. In here. Entonces, solo le damos clic acá. Sí, lo digo. <risas> yes. So, we give a click in here. Y aquí, pues, ya nos van a aparecer las secciones que tiene el, el examen. So, you see? Es part one, part two, part three, and part four. Yeah, part four. Is the exam easy? Yes, it's easy. Okay, really okay, easy. Thank Actually, you very much. Uh, yeah, es básicamente todo lo que hemos estado viendo acá en clase. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's it. Es tal y como hemos venido haciendo las prácticas and, and all those things. Me han comprendido exactly as we are. No problem, there's no problem in there. Okay, a piece of cake, but, ¿verdad, Claudia? No. Piece of cake, That's right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yes, don't remember this. I mean, don't forget this. Eh, no olviden que acá igual tenemos el, el, lo de las discussions, okay? Uh, the one that I have been posting recently, it's this one. Provide directions, okay? Aquí subí la imagen que estuvimos practicando. And in here, okay, and in here I ask some questions. Where is the bus station? Where is the supermarket? Where is the cafe? And where is the factory? Okay, entonces acá vamos a tener el punto de referencia acá, donde dice you are here. Tú estás acá. Entonces, I want, I want you to provide the answers as uh, Wendy uh, left in here, okay? Nice. So this is for, you can do it tomorrow if you want, or after class. Good. Do we have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta? Con respecto a ello? No? Okay, good. 
What are we gonna do, Claudia Margarita? Today is gonna be your 10 minutes feedback, okay? So we're gonna stay after class. When, today? Yes, today. All right, um, because tomorrow, okay. tomorrow we're gonna do a, uh, yeah, I think tomorrow we, uh, I'm gonna choose another one. Okay, do we have any question? Tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta, tipo, recordemos, lo de la encuesta va a ser esa mañana, in class, please, entonces, tratemos de, de, de estar, los que estamos ahorita, please, les voy a pedir que tratemos de estar mañana, ok, en clase, please. Porque de las nueve en adelante probablemente ya comencemos con lo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Ok, vamos a trabajar en el tema que tenemos, el último tema mañana a la, de, de 8 a 9. And then you're gonna, you're gonna do that. Ok, good. Entonces, si no tenemos alguna otra pregunta, people, it was a pleasure to be here in this section and see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye, blessing. Blessing, Mr. Blessing, Mr. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, Brenda. Okay, Claudia Margarita, it's 10 13. You're gonna have 10 minutes to tell me if you have any question, any doubt with the classes that we have had up to now. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> so we yeah, have I think so. This, this <laughs> meeting. <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, actually, because I, I knew actually that you, I mean, you, you catch us everything like really fast. You've got previous knowledge on English. So this module for you has been kind of easy, right? Um. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, casi, creo que sí, casi todo es como paso, pero hay cosas que uno siempre tiene algo nuevo que aprender. Por ejemplo, para mí, la, el uso de las proposiciones de tiempo, eh, creo que eso nunca lo vi en mis años de vida. Mm -hmm. Nunca lo, o sea, jamás lo había, me había puesto a estudiar. Y ahora siento que es difícil. Sí. Ajá. Quizás es como lo único. Ajá. No le encuentro como alguna relación. Más creo que es que tengo que estudiar, estudiar, estudiar y practicarlo. Mm -hmm. No más. Y ahí creo que todo estoy bien. Ajá. No. I, I think. Ajá, <laughs> you think. Um, you think. Mm -hmm. Uh, eh, uh -huh. Con lo de los usos del presente simple, todo bien, con el uso de las terceras personas, con el uso de la, del verbo en tercera persona, cuando se le agrega S, e, S, I, e, S, everything is okay? It's okay. Ah, okay. Very cool. That's okay. Ajá. Sí, so, solo eso. Just, we're just with preposition. Uh, right? uh -huh. Yes. Creo que tengo que estudiar mucho eso y, y, y practicarlo. Um, uh -huh. I love listen to music. Yes, I love listen to music. Ah, yeah, I love listen to music. Uh -huh. Yes. And always I am looking for new vocabulary. Mm, that's that's really nice. Uh -huh. like, what what kind of music uh, do, you, do you listen, or do you like the most? I prefer I prefer um eighties. The nineteen and eighty music. Do you like Guns and Roses? No. Oh, uh, Aerosmith. Yes. Ah. Yeah, yes, Guns and Roses, Bon Jovi. Aerosmith. I like it. Uh, Alan Parsons. Alan Parsons, do you know Alan Parsons? Ah, yeah, that's, that's, that's no? good. That's good. Uh huh. Yes, those type of music, it's really cool because the the lyric is a little bit understandable and it's like slow. So that that helps a lot to practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That helps a yeah. lot, a lot. I I like um I love simple verb. 
Simple red. Right. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the... back to you. Think you want to see the fifth one. Ah, that's, that's a um... good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yes. No, that, that helps a lot. Listening to music and watching TV. When you watch TV, try to do it in English. That helps a lot just to, to catch. Okay. Uh, and you can train your ear. Yes, I know. You can train your ear. Like uh, if you like watching series, try to do it um, in English. And if you can, just put subtitles. But don't do it like in Spanish. That's a good way to, to learn vocabulary. I'm I'm telling you this um, in, in my my opinion because that was the way when I was learning English that helped me a lot when I was in, in this process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I understand uh, so much, mm -hmm. but I don't know. How to produce. Mm. Yeah, and that's the lack of practice. If you put into yeah. practice, if you put into practice the vocabulary that you learn, believe me, that that lack of uh, communication that you have when you want to speak is going to be reducing, reducing, reducing. Yeah, I, I understand yeah. what you're saying because when I was studying, it happened to me. That I was like, I understand to this teacher, but I cannot give an answer or I cannot give an opinion when he asks something. And just the practice uh, breaks out that barrier. So my advice to you is yeah. practice. That, that's what I'm, I you know. know. But it's going to make you be more fluent and uh, to produce more words. Uh, you told me that you have family, right? That that speaks English. Um, could it be? Yeah. You told me that in your house there are people that knows English that speaks English. My son. Ah, your son. You can my practice. Son. My son. You can, yeah. Uh -huh. You can practice the most with your son. Um. Difficult. <laughs> Why difficult? He, he is full. He is full English. My son is full English. He doesn't. He doesn't speak Spanish. Eh, él habla perfecto inglés. Ah, mejor yeah, aún. I can do that. That's better. <laughs> That's even better porque así, o yeah. sea, ajá, porque uh -huh. le puede ir ayudando, like, corrigiendo eh, las entonaciones, puede palabra llevar el stress. That's, that's, that's. Sí, uh, yeah. Yeah. yes, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> creo que debía aprender hace muchos años. Nunca he estudiado hasta hoy. Mm. Um, solo me gusta la música. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ajá, no, ah, no more. But, but leave me. Only I uh, listen to music. Yes, but this is the, I mean. When, uh, did you... uh -huh. Sorry. No, When but you I mean. use a sentence or. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not actually, but learning um, English opens no. a lot of doors, and it's a good thing to, to learn. Yes, English. I know. Yes, especially if you go abroad, if you go on to a country that speaks full English, believe me, that's a good thing to learn English. He visto pasar oportunidades y no puedo agarrarlas porque no sé inglés. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That opens a lot of doors. That's why I mean never yeah. to learn. Nunca es tarde para aprender. And, and, I mean opportunities are coming and all those things. Y veo que si usted eh, se ve la motivación que tiene y la, la, la constancia, la práctica y todo. Y, yeah, yeah, I mean, 
yo sé que en un par de años usted puede estar hablando inglés bastante fluido. If you don't keep the motivation, if you keep the motivation, si mantiene la, la, la motivación, inclusive en un par de meses. I, I mean, eh, digamos que las, la situación varía de persona en persona y dependiendo de la motivación que se le ponga, así es el modo de aprender. Yes. Porque he visto... Sí, creo que nunca lo había hecho. Eh, uh -huh. Ajá, nunca lo había hecho y... y... Bueno, hoy me voy a detener con inglés corporativo porque me están pidiendo documentos que yo ya no tengo, no tengo trabajo, entonces no tengo cómo presentar documentos. Exacto. Y llené un formulario para hacerlo de una manera diferente, pero nunca me respondieron. Así que creo que hasta aquí llegué. Pero igual, eh, uh, solo quisiera tener tal vez una guía, eh, ajá, una guía, y yo soy autodidacta y lo hago. Uh -huh. mm, okay. No más. Yes, like, like, and I'm gonna be like there. Uh, si alguna vez usted necesita practicar o algo, o por lo menos de que alguien le corrija algo, just like, send me a text message and I will, I will help you up. Okay. Yes, es una de las cosas, es una de las cosas que a mí me gusta, que, que si alguien eh, se ve interesado en aprender, I can help. Okay, entonces ahí estamos para las que sean. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you very much. You're welcome. Ahí estamos yes. entonces. Bien, entonces okay. uh, nos vemos mañana en la new session, ¿ok? Ok, see you tomorrow. See you Good tomorrow. Night. night, night, Claudia. Night.